Hi, my name is Julia and this is Space Daily News Channel. The European Space Agency has conducted qualification fire tests of both stages of the new Ariane 6 heavy lift launch vehicle. They simulated the operation of the rocket engines in real flight, including the possibility of relaunching the upper stage. The development of the Ariane 6 launch vehicle, which is to replace the European heavy rocket Ariane 5, has been underway for more than nine years. It will be a more powerful and versatile means of launching various satellites and telescopes into space. The two-stage rocket has engines powered by liquid oxygen and hydrogen and can be equipped with two or four solid propellant side boosters. The rocket's payload capacity in its most powerful configuration will be 11.5 tons of payload for geotransitional orbit and more than 21 tons for low Earth orbit. The date of the first launch of the new rocket has been pushed back several times due to various delays. Now the first flight is scheduled for 2024. During the final tests of the Ariane 6 upper stage, the ability of the stage to switch on and off several times was tested, which is necessary to launch satellites into different orbits. The test lasted 22 hours. Winchy upper stage engine and auxiliary propulsion system were switched on twice. And then on Ariane 6 launch pad at the French Guiana spaceport, fire test of the rocket's first stage prototype took place which was first fueled with propellant components and then the Vulcan 2 engine operated for 4 seconds. On October 3rd, the final qualification test of the first stage is due to take place, during which its engines will run for 470 seconds. This will be followed by qualification tests of both stages of the rocket. Based on their results, the exact date of the first Ariane 6 launch will be determined. Space Daily News, like, share and subscribe.